Hi, I'm Cheryl, and today we're going to be replacing an indicator light on a Maytag range. You may need to replace your indicator light if your light does not come on when you have a burner on. This repair should only take about 15 to 20 minutes. For this repair, we're only going to need two tools, a quarter inch nut driver, and a flat head screwdriver. If you don't already have a new indicator light, they are available for purchase on our website. Before repairing any appliance, always make sure it is completely disconnected from its power source. We are going to need to access the back panel for this repair, so once you have access, we'll take our quarter inch nut driver. There's a piece of metal trim here between the top back panel and the lower back panel. We'll start by removing the two nuts that are holding that up. And we can set that to the side. Then we can remove the top two screws on the top panel. Now this back panel has a metal piece that reaches underneath the electronics of the back. So we're going to need to pull it out from the bottom. Be very careful, you're definitely going to want to wear gloves because they're sharp edges. There's two tabs on the outer edges. Press up on those, right above those to help slide out the back panel. And then you can pull that down and out. There are two indicator lights in the back panel here. If your cooktop on light is not working, you'll need to replace the indicator light on the right. If your hot surface light isn't coming on, you'll need to replace your indicator light on the left. So we'll replace the hot surface light over here. It's going to be the same exact process for both sides. This indicator light is located just to the left of the control board. In order to remove it, we'll just need to slide it to the left and it'll pop off the lens and then you can pull it out there are two wires connected to it just pull those off you if they're too stuck you can use a flathead screwdriver to help pry those off once you have your new indicator light we'll need to reattach the wires the red one goes on the left, and the blue on the right. Again, it'll pop into place over the lens. So just line that up to the left of the lens and push right. and it'll click into place. Now we can replace the back panel. Make sure that the wires on either side are pushed as far over as they'll go. And then we'll insert the top of the back panel first. Swing the bottom part underneath. Again, we'll need to press up on the bottom to get them over the tabs. You should be able to line that up pretty well with those holes. Rescrew in those top screws on the back panel. And then we can replace the trim. And tighten it down. And that's it. That wasn't too hard, right? Here's a quick recap. All of our OEM parts and tools are available for purchase on our website. Check them out and let us know what you think on these social media sites. 